this should be the fifth video in the space of two days just making a video on the mandalorian season two the reason i'm making this one and it's probably going up on the same day as the one about the actual first looks and covers and ew which is entertainment weekly this is coming up because as soon as i recorded the video there was some information and some of the actors and actresses basically commenting on the actual second season and stuff about the casting and everything there so I decided it would be pretty much a good idea to make a video separately to discuss all of them and just kind of bring them into one area to speak about. So before we do get into the video and you want to do, if you want to, you can subscribe and leave a like on the video, comment down below if you have any thoughts or opinions on anything, and with that being said, let's get into it. So this won't be an incredibly long video because there isn't really a lot to speak about. The first one, honestly, I can't pronounce her name correctly. It's Gina, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce the last name. It is pretty much the actress who plays... Oh my god, I'm after forgetting her name. She plays Cara Dune. Either way, she, as you know, she plays that character. She went on and said, some of the things are true, and some... Her, her exact quote is, some of them are true, and some of them are not true. That is about the casting and all the rumors about the actual characters. I want to sit down and speak about this for a minute or two. That's great news. Honestly, that's great news. I think this pretty much confirms Boba Fett will be in it, and maybe Bo-Katan to some degree. I say Bo-Katan, and I will explain it now. It is because, in canon, she is the last person who has the Darksaber before Moff Gideon, and chronologically, it would only make sense for her to have even some amount of like backstory or her to even show up in a flashback to even be mentioned honestly i think being mentioned is probably the biggest one and she more than likely will show up and then boba fett i think was pretty much really hinted at in around season one and honestly i think he's probably one of the biggest people to show up and he's most likely there is ahsoka and sabine and for ahsoka i it's so iffy because there's so much to speak about for ahsoka and i will do it right now pretty much for ahsoka Ashley Eckstein isn't coming back or she isn't doing anything. That is what she said in like an interview or she was asked about it. Speaking of that very quickly, I'm not very happy that Ashley isn't going to be there. I think it's obviously a shame, but it will be live action and Rosario Dawson is being rumored. She's been rumored for, I don't even know how long, she's been rumored for months now that she will be playing basically Ahsoka. Overall, I think Rosario Dawson will do fine if it does actually happen, if she does show up. There's been rumors and there has been episode titles like leaked, quote unquote leaked, because they're not leaked, they're just pretty much made up and it's all for fun really and trolling. Either way, I mean Ahsoka showing up, I think this means that there is a pretty good chance she will actually show up. Sabine, I think the actual person, the original person who plays Sabine is, I can't pronounce her last name, she's Tia, T-I-Y-A, I'm not entirely sure how to say the name. Either way, I haven't heard anything for them, but I think a lot of people are expecting that this second season will pretty much be really heavily focused on, or pretty much for Ahsoka and Sabine to be really, to be really heavily focused on setting up a backdoor pilot to the Rebel sequel, which is not confirmed. My opinion again, that will come out in 2022 at least, because next year we have the Bad Batch and then the Mandalorian Season 3, I would assume is going to be delayed to some degree. I'm just expecting that because of everything happening in the world. It would only make sense. Now the next quote I want to speak about is, this is coming from, honestly again, I'm not great with pronouncing names, I think it's incredibly difficult. G Giancarlo SP, pretty much the guy who plays Moff Gideon. You probably know him from, more than likely, you probably know him from Breaking Bad, which is his first big role. Either way, going on to it, I will pretty much kind of I won't read it out fully because I don't want to really look away from the camera. Either way, it is pretty much saying that he wants, as in Moff Gideon, will pretty much in the second season be trying to either... Fuck it, I'll, I'll just read it out. To be honest, at this stage, I'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Mandalorian. It's an iconic battle. I want to disarm him mentally. Who knows? Maybe there's an opportunity for him to fight some battles for me. I did not know where I was going with subphrasing of that, honestly. Either way... This is gr this is great because we potentially could see them even somewhat like working together in the second season. Him speaking about mentally trying to disarm him, 
I would assume that is linking more so towards his back, like his backstory's origin, his whole history there, and then maybe Baby Yoda being taken away from him and trying to do that. That is my biggest idea anyway. I don't really know what else could actually be happening there, to be honest. Overall, from all of this news and everything that has happened today, it is Star Trek Day of all days, so I think Disney doing this is either somehow trying to get back at them or this was planned for a good long time. Either way, it is pretty much, it's all out there now, so it doesn't really matter. The only thing we're missing is a trailer, which I'm going to assume will be Friday. And if this doesn't come out on Friday, honestly, I'll be very surprised and I'll be, I'll be low-key very upset because we pretty much only have around 60 days until this comes out. I haven't actually checked the exact amount of days. Either way, we, we do technically have a first look. We have the logo, we have some posters, first looks. This is good, it's looking great. If the trailer doesn't come out on Friday, I would assume it will be out maybe the next week. I don't really see them pushing out the trailer for a long time more, and from what I've heard behind the scenes, they're very happy with the trailer and how the second season will play out and everything there, so I think for The Mandalorian Season 2, it's going to be perfect, it will work out perfectly, there's going to be nothing wrong with the second season to any degree, and then Season 3, I am assuming will be delayed or somehow it will be affected because of everything happening in the world, COVID. I'm just assuming all the writing for season 3 can be done at home, but when it comes to filming it is very painful because they have to be very careful, that is pretty much all of COVID is being very careful, so they just have to be on the sets which will more than likely be either really limited or it's going to take a lot longer to film which is upsetting. But in saying that, it is what it is, and it's probably better off. It's much better off for the like the cast and crew to be safe rather than getting out a second or third season. If that's just me. It's just better for them. Now, with all of that being said, I'm going to end the video off here. If you did go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more like this in the future, do consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video if you did go on to enjoy. There is a lot lower, a lot more Mandalorian videos I have recorded, and they will be up. These are all. Like this video when it's coming up is going up before like maybe three or four videos which are already recorded. So I will be saying stuff about the trailer and whenever I'm expecting all of that. I won't mention any of this because it was before all of this happened, it would only make sense. So those will probably come out in the next few days to some degree. I'm not really too sure how exactly that will work. Either way, just comment down below what you think. I'm just going to end the video off here. Hope you have a great day and goodbye.